So ordered in, to put in the record. The gentleman from Pennsylvania, you recognize. Uh, and thanks for holding this uh, hearing here. My uh, district in uh, Pennsylvania is an ag district as well. Uh, we have a lot more dairy cows than we have beef cattle uh, and a lot of uh, egg laying hens, uh, but uh, 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 agriculture nonetheless, and then manufacturing as well. We like to call ourselves the snack capital of the world, uh, both salties and sweet. We're close to Hershey's and Mars and many others. Uh, but uh, I was a small business owner myself uh, from the time I was uh, 17 years old, uh, out hanging drywall, and then uh, built a small business uh, to uh, still exist today, with several hundred employees, a regional leader in commercial uh, contracting. So see the, the power of an economy that, that uh, provides opportunity uh, for people, uh, the, the power of jobs to provide opportunity for people. And in fact, I ran first for the state senate and then for Congress to, to really work. I'd seen the growth of government that, that really intruded in all aspects of our lives and made it much harder to, you know, for a 17-year-old to run a business and really uh, ran to kind of fight back against that, both at the state level and then at the, then at the federal level. So I, can, I, I hear what you're saying, can relate to what you're saying. And I, I think uh, the ranking member made a statement this morning that I think was important. And that is we should be able to have discussions about what really works best to lift people out of poverty to help individuals achieve their own American dream. And we have differences of opinion in how, what is the best path forward, but we ought to, we ought to be able to have these discussions. And so I appreciate, you know, everyone being here in the room uh, talking about this. Uh, but you, it's pretty clear there is a difference. Uh, in uh, how we as Republicans and how Democrats approach these issues. I think we can agree that, um, you know, we're all thankful that we live in a country, and to your point, Mr. Mills, that does help those who really need help. And you saw that as mayor, uh, and I've seen that in my community, and I'm grateful for that. Um, and then beyond that, we talk about what's the best way to lift people out of poverty. Um, and I think in general, and I'm very much overgeneralizing, uh, some of the things you're hearing from the Democrat side today, side today rely more on government than what we prefer to. We believe that in the power and the ingenuity of the American people. Um, wouldn't you all agree, and I'm just curious, um, <laughs> the best way to help people lift people out of poverty is to, is, is to provide them with a job and, and to connect them for that to the job. Do you all agree with that? Yeah. I see I see heads nodding. I, I agree. And, I, you know, I, I was just thinking that same thing uh, when this question came out, that you know, the, the path out of poverty is is a job. So how do, how do we do that? Well, uh, like, does the government create jobs or do businesses? Do well, you, you know, we, we have jobs. Uh, we need to help them with skills. And they need to have some basic skills. Yeah. Uh, but just like, uh, you know, been mentioned here, uh, a lot of times we have someone with basic skills and we can train them to do, because every company is different. We all do things a little differently, but we can help train them. We also send uh, some of our workers then to career tech to upskill uh, their abilities. We have one of the best career tech systems in the, the world, really. People come here. Just to study I, I, I agree, and I'm going to run out of time. I, so, want, to make, I anyway. want to make one additional point, and I appreciate your commitment, because it is a really important function to find ways to ensure that individuals are prepared for the jobs that are available today. Uh, nothing better than lifting people out of poverty than that. Um, the the uh, ranking member also mentioned the success of the American Rescue Plan, and some of us believe that that created the inflation that has hurt uh, everyday Americans uh, in a degree that it's been very, very harmful to, to families. Um, and nowhere, I think, then during the discussion of that bill uh, was our difference in approach more evident where, you know, it, the uh, bill incentivized people to stay home, which I thought was terrible to put people in a position of earning more if they stay home. They had to make that tough decision. I'm going to stay home so I can provide for my family. Our idea was to provide a $1,500 incentive to have people go back to work. What's, what's your reaction to that? Do you think that would have worked better than what we have now? 
I, I think that's a good start. I mean, uh, you know, we, we've got to get something to get them moving. And um, I, I think we, I, I'm trying to think if that happened here in Oklahoma, but I know we talked about it. I know our governor talked about that, uh, providing that incentive. I can't remember if it happened or not, but uh, I, I think it worked uh, because things have gotten a little bit better since then. Uh, we still are struggling to, to find those skilled workers, but um, again, I, any incentive we can to get people back to work, uh, it would be welcome. Thank you. I'm out of time.